For those who suffer from acrophobia, the fear of heights, the thought of parachuting out of an airplane would be insane. For 15 years, Bob Oster has been a stunt photographer specializing in aerial photography. He climbs onto the wing strut in preparation for filming a parachuting competition. The pilot holds the plane steady until he's in position. The first man out is Mark Adams novice in competition for the first time. Ostler follows him in order to film his aerial maneuvers. The object of free fall competition is to land in a designated area. The first competitor to hit this area two out of three times wins the event. In his first professional jump, Adams landed directly on the mark. Adams returned to his crew and received their congratulations. As he posed for photographs, he appeared confident about his next jump. The crew carefully prepared his gear for the second jump of the day. When jumping out of a plane 3,500 feet above the ground, a parachutist is totally dependent upon his equipment. After receiving a kiss for good luck, Adams is once again airborne for his second jump. When a strong gust of wind began to blow Adams off target, his crew, concerned for his safety, began to chase the drifting parachutes. Cecil Clemens, the owner of Gatorama, remembers that tragic day. The most terrible thing that I have ever witnessed was one evening I come out on the patio and I see this man coming down in a parachute. And he landed right in the crop pit. And he just made one big scream and the most horrible looking face you ever seen on a human being, that was him. And before I could get any help, uh, any way to get him out of there, they had told him to shred. There was nothing I could do. There was nothing anybody could do. Adams had landed on a target, which this time would cost him his life. 